May I remind you that trading is risky and not suitable for everyone. Your past performance, good or bad, is not necessarily indicative of future results. Please stay small, stay humble, focus on the long term, and never risk money you cannot afford to lose. Welcome to Quant Box Daily. Today is Tuesday, April 11th. I hope you had a lovely Easter, my friends. Welcome back to trading. So Quant Box is your global macroeconomic quant in a box. It's a fundamental tool that gives you a fundamental bias by using a number of different data points that we collate from very reliable sources and bring to you in a very simple format. It makes life so easy for you as a trader. First of all, you know, I speak to traders all the time because I do lots of coaching at FX Bootcamp and I ask people when they're having problems with their trading, I say, do you have Quant Box? They go, no. I said, why not? They, oh, no, I'm just having a time to buy it. You know, I'm too busy trading. I'm like, oh, so how much money are you losing while you're trading? Yeah, I know, I know. I said, well, just don't lose that money. Rather invest in Quant Box. At least you have a tool that you can use that can give you a fundamental bias. You know, you look over here, well, first of all, a one-week trial is just 790, so you can definitely afford it. Um, you look over here and you see your, your score chart summary. Imagine if you didn't have this, right? Then you're looking at all these pairs that you shouldn't be looking at just yet wasting a whole bunch of time, losing a whole bunch of money, where rather you can come here and say, right, what does my day look like today? And as you can see, we've got strong buys in Swiss franc, Japanese yen, but no COT data. Lots of green, but neutral on the big boys, right? It's very helpful because if the market's not in the, in, in the money, then why would I want to be? I'd rather wait for them to choose a side, right? Zero shows me that uh, institutional traders are staying away at the moment. Whereas with Euro Kiwi, got a bit of um, bearish data over here. Well, I mean, technically, you can actually say we've got bearish data on unemployment because the interest rate dividend, right? That's going to be, let's go, let's go look at it. Let's look at Euro Kiwi. Uh, cross Euro Kiwi, Euro Kiwi. It's just that difference, right? So you look over here on the data, interest rates. Okay, so what that really means is, is that if you look at interest rates, then um, it's basically swap, right? It's just simply say that if you were to buy this, you'd lose money buying it, you'd make more money selling it, right? So just swap, okay? Dividend, not dividend, differential, right? Interest rate differential. So going back to our score chart summary, we can see here Euro Kiwi a buy, Euro yen a buy, a bit of red data, pound yen a buy, and USD Zara buy. Let's take a look at them. So Euro Kiwi up first. Euro Kiwi up first. Here we go. Okay. Now you can see coming off that 21 EMA, all right, cool, but out of position completely. I'm not a massive fan of this, friends. Not gonna lie. I mean, I wouldn't sell it because it's bullish fundamentally, but I mean, just the position is terrible. Okay, you can see price broke out of this range. And it's not come back down to support in this range, but just absolutely terrible position. Not a fan of this at all. Okay, got to use position as well. I want to buy low. Let's look at euro yen. Can I buy low on euro yen? Let's have a look and see. Euro yen also terrible position. I'm not going to buy in there. No ways. No ways. Not a chance. Pound yen. Let's have a look and see. Where are you, my pound yen, my beastie? Also, you can see its price came, broke up and pulled back to support. And that's all great. But my big problem is where price is right now. And I came down on the 5th, okay? Not where I want to be buying. Can't sell it. It's bullish fundamentally, but I can't buy it. Going to leave that alone, right? What's interesting is if you bought down here, all the way back in 2020, you're still in those trades. Sometimes quant box is there to say, now's the time to trade. And sometimes quant box is there to say, it's time to let your winners run. USD Zara, let's take a look. USD Zara. Yeah, not a fan, eh? We still swear about price being down here. We, we still set this trade up, didn't we? Hmm? Remember a few days ago? Still spoke about that. Still said, hey, if you're down here, let's look. take a look at that. We're still speaking about price coming off the support. Price pulled back down again. 
in the fourth, we had some opportunities over here. Let's take a look at the fourth. Where was the fourth? It's the 31st, fourth, yeah. So in that area there. So the fourth, you can see there, we still drew this box. I still said to you, you're looking for a higher low, higher, higher, higher low. This was last week we spoke about this. You can see there, it was the higher low that you were getting. Okay, look at that higher, high, higher low. There's your role reversal. Boom. So I gave that setup to you last week. What's amazing is that I knew price was not going to make a lower low of the 21 EMA. How did I know that? Well, because price came down and closed the support. Okay. Also, that um, 100 was very helpful, wasn't it? Let's put a different time frame on here. Okay. That 100 was very, very helpful. So hopefully you got that last week over there. That was a setup that was discussed. And your M2 is taking you all the way to the M4. Okay. You're not buying now, though, because currently you're top of the range. And if you if you did buy down here and you are currently sitting up here, then you're looking to, to price action and saying, please don't give me a low, low, low high. Okay. Cool. Let's look at our sales. So from a selling perspective, you can see CAD Swissy, but look at this. Isn't this nice? No COT data staying away. Kiwi CAD, bearish, but COT data bullish staying away. Aussie Kiwi. Okay, cool. Aussie Kiwi looking decent from a fundamental perspective. Let's take a look at it from a technical perspective. Aussie Kiwi right over here. Hmm. A buy, you say. Okay. So price, the problem is I haven't closed the support in the daily in, in, since the 7th. But yesterday was a public. So you can see here, left-hand side, coming off the support over here. Okay. What you're looking for now is you're looking for a pullback to support. Okay, if you can get a pullback to support, you can buy. Okay, H1. I see not great right now. Looking for a pullback to support maybe tomorrow. Okay. Cool. Euro pound, we got we bearish, but COT is bullish. Leave that alone. Aussie CAD, it's neutral. Leave that alone. Kiwi Swissy neutral. Well, sorry, it's bullish, but it's getting better. Leave that alone. Uh, Aussie USD. What about the Aussie USD? Is it's Aussie USD? Um, you can see here. Look at that. Still lots of mess. Gee was Although I did speak about selling this over here last week. Okay, so last week I did say to you that price came up without touching supports and it was there for a sell, R1. You didn't get to the S1, then you got to the M2, um, but you did take the trade off here. The only thing that didn't work out the way I thought it would is how it set up. On the M15 time frame, I was looking for a double top and that never happened. Price didn't come up for that, which means price is going to return to the top, right? Okay, now if you're looking for a sell, you're going to have to wait. Go to a few levels. You've got some resistance over here. You've got some resistance over here. On H4, yeah, you've got to wait for the daily to close at resistance. So, yeah, a bit of patience. But there's, at least there were some nice trades from last week. That USD ZAR one is quite nice. At least you're in that trade, right? At the moment, though, I'm going to be waiting. I'm going to be waiting couple of things that need to settle. The nice thing about this, we got the COT data last Friday. So this is new data. So uh, that's very helpful and handy. Um, second of all, charts are looking pretty chill at the moment. So what am I waiting for? Well, I wanted for things to look a bit better, actually, to be honest. Not to lie. Aussie USD, give me some resistance. Give me a lower, low, lower high somewhere. Give me some indication that you're not ranging anymore. That'd be nice. Patience is what's called for. Disciplined as well. Sorry, disciplined. Discipline as well. If you have those two things, you might remain liquid. Just be patient out there, friends. And stay disciplined and remain liquid. Like I just said, have a great day. See you tomorrow.